Hi there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of 23rd until the 30th of September. Let's get started with your messages. In the heart area, we have the moon. Okay, the moon, a lot to do with discernment here. Uh, that is your ruling planet as well in the heart. So it feels like there is a lot here where you're being guided to apply more of your perception, your intuition, uh, beyond intuition. It's like it goes way deeper. The moon is illuminating the way here. It always says to trust, you know, what you do, your discernment, and the next step will be shown. That path will be shown to you. Okay. Or there could be some situations here that have been hidden in the past that are coming to light for you. This is a lot of closure. This is soulmate energy as well. And it could even be your own soulmate within in the cross position, six of swords. So the six of swords upright. It could be situations where you've made resolution to move away from conflict, like mentally conflicting situations. And there is a move that has happened. Now this is coming like that. So it feels like there is a lot that you're definitely connecting more with that intuitive aspect of yourself, that moonish aspect, divine feminine. There could be a divine feminine here as well. In the past position, Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is light, is clarity, revelation. Uh, the Ace of Wands could be an offer that has come in or yeah, someone that has come in as well. But this is new inspiration, new passion, or even a surge of energy to keep one going. In the future position, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a court card, so this could be a person. It doesn't have to be an S sign, but this is usually like communications, uh, phones, uh, text messages, emails, TV, everything to do with the online world is shown in the Knight of Swords. When it comes to us, it can depict chatter, like mind chatter, you know. And you see in the background of the Knight of Swords, there is the Five Swords. So there's a lot to do with... I feel your protection here. You are cancer, the fourth house of protection, you know, stability, structure. So there's a lot coming up about protection. I feel even when the collective watches this, they will understand how to go about uh, this period, if that makes sense. So there's a lot to do with Mars and cancer and your, your showing the way. In the root position, king of swords, Beyond the heart position, the root shows the focus of the week or the focus of the period, right? And the King of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There could be an air sign in the picture, first of all. There could be situations where you're grounding and you're... Because you see, the moonish aspect sometimes can have modeled clarity, like lack of clarity. Things are not clear. End of story. And the King of Swords will come to say, you can, you always have another side to help you. The analytical aspect that can come to work with that emotional aspect and the energetic aspect. So I feel your grounding is definitely helping here. Again, there could be some shadowy process going on in the background. I feel that strongly here. Because why do we need protection, <laughs> right? You need protection because there's usually something on the outside or something that could be a threat. Okay, in the crown area, two of pentacles. So I feel not only something that is a threat, but your ability to discern is making you to be a threat. It feels like you're threatening, yeah. So not necessarily like be a threat, like where you hide, no. But I feel your ability to discern energies i'm getting virgo energy as well virgo is also the mother so there's a lot connected to the home once again right divine feminine okay let's get back on track there's something about you being a threat it could be to a group of people but many situations that perhaps have come to you and you've seen through the fine details. So it's like you've seen through games. Yeah, you've seen through manipulative games. And in all of that, you keep moving. I'm not getting as a fair one. I'm actually not getting as a joke. It's it's real. 
<clears throat> what you're experiencing is real, is valid. Six and one is seven swords. So you see there's a lot to do with sabotage here. There, there's a fine line that I'm getting. Because with the number nine is closure. It's like you're closing up old cycles. You've been doing some really hard work. And then there are some unseen figures here that are still trying to to keep you from your peace i'm hearing i don't want to fight right so it's like whatever you're doing as a form of protection is not coming as a physical fight a physical battle is an energetic battle okay crown area two of pentacles there could be some transaction an unblocking or you see that red red so very much connected to the root area so you're applying clarity here or you are there could be yeah, a lot of judgment here ability to discern and make decisions so important okay to do with communication, to do with finances and fire. Approach, four of pentacles. So this four of pentacles is Capricorn energy. It's to do with career or even finances. So it feels like you have, someone could be approaching you in this four of pentacles like they are holding on tight. It could be you protecting your energy as well from a situation. But this feels to me like um, a, a stable, it feels stable. It feels like you are protecting your energy here. Outside influences, two of cups. The two of cups is... Could be a relationship, could be a couple. That is your card, which is connected to home. So there could be a couple here as well. Maybe it goes way back because the moon also shows the subconscious, right? It goes way back. There's a lot you've had to protect yourself from. And even current experiences that have led to current experiences. And what I'm getting here with the moon even, you are right on track. Hopes and fears, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The cut cards can show different people. Hopes and fears is your wisdom. I feel like you are applying a lot of emotional intelligence in your dealings. Uh, the King of Cups is also very generous. And on the shadow side can show the extreme, you know. That cup is wide open and they give and give and give. So perhaps it's a way of checking with oneself, like where we give attention, time, currency, any form of currency. Outcome, page of swords. So the knight of swords, page of swords could be similar people or different. But I feel like there are could be people watching you as well or learning from you that are coming towards you. I'm getting a lot of communication going on here and just the need to discern okay at the bottom of the deck or if you've been waiting for some communication it's coming in queen of wands ace of wands magnetism leo sagittarius aries <laughs> i said magnetism and i'm getting confirmation it's all about your magnetism and your fire a kind of combination i'm seeing you as a master manifesto here so even everything to do with that protection is not so much like to the extreme of course you can apply this the way it resonates but i'm getting protection on every part like this is the time for that like defining your boundaries defining your territory all of that is coming up for you with mars and cancer okay protection okay mic drop Protection guardian, guardian, drop your shields. Shaolin master, be graceful in movement and action. You're winning this game. Whatever this is, you're winning it. Clarifiers. 
two of pentacles nine of wands so yeah you do have people watching it could be around you as well this is about resilience i'm also getting that your resilience is helping you it's coming together it's all mixing up that number eight keeps moving right so there's a form of release and holding on all happening at the same time page of swords ten of wands uh, the page of swords ten of wands could be some new learning now nine ten is given sagittarius energy there could be a sagittarius in the picture or that is the ninth house of travel exploration so i feel there is a lot of work that you're putting in right now your or you have put in this is a journey 19 is sun you're getting a lot of revelations and that is helping you to move towards the sunlight in the sense that you know you even the sunlight is a form of protection is a warrior symbol right so there is a lot to do with your sunshine your peacefulness your your peace of mind and that blessing that it is to breathe and to live and this is why maybe i heard i don't want to fight that is what the protection guardian says drop your shields right so that is archangel michael you do have a lot of protection and it's amazing king of cups or someone could be coming towards you in that energy as well like the i don't want to fight energy knight of pentacles is king of cups so this is hopes and fears I feel the king of cups knight of pentacles is your foundation right and when we're building foundation we're usually we have the plan so there could be some planning going on here as well there there is a plan and then there is releasing the outcome that is happening knight of swords is clarified by the moon so there is a divine feminine energy strongly now the moon coming twice could be two different people cancer pisces could be any sign but this is giving me discernment and your warrior skills <laughs> at the bottom of the deck four of cups uh, that is cancer energy as well so it feels like there's a lot you may not be easily impressed by right now cultivation you are in the growing phase right now and you must continue to water the seeds you have planted in order to reap the rewards yep you have a lot of beautiful manifestations coming your way what i'm getting with this week is a combination of your skills i'm picturing yamaya like the ocean right those waves that are moving so that could come in your movement as well so it could be in the form of let's say yoga dance but anything that helps you to keep mind body and spirit together that is where your protection is whoa this is a powerful reading protection guardian is 115 i believe which is the number seven which is also protection chariot energy drop any shields of shame resistance and fear that are standing between you and your chances of enjoyment and fun know that you don't need to hide who you are or the gifts that you have you were born to shine the protection guardian is a feminine version of archangel michael she is a fierce protective yet yet loving warrior angel who carries an indestructible shield of power and protection and will come to all who call on her she will help you drop your fear-based shields and move into a loving protective force field that will keep you safe but will allow your gifts to shine out although she is here to guard you from lower energies she is completely relaxed serene and confident because she trusts that love will always prevail yep i share to that i believe that as well you may have encountered shame or embarrassment in your past but that is not your present angels are drawing close at this time to help you move beyond any limiting thoughts emotions and patterns that may be making you feel unsafe know that angelic protection is swirling around you at this moment and will help you move forward in a more fearless way call on your guides for help in changing your frequency so you can feel safe and protected at this time you are stronger than you think and your angels and ancestor guides are here to help you realize this now 
I read something that hit for me. It says here. Okay, it says here, call on your guides for help in changing your frequency. This is so important because it's all about that frequency, keeping in the frequency or the vibration of our manifestations coming in. And everything here that is maybe trying to cause blockage, you know, the energies that you could pick up on, all of that that could cause resistance, kind of lower one's frequency right and this is where your battle is to keep raising your frequency and this is where the movements come in as well and that is your act of revolution you can call it your act of warfare your strategy that is that is what it is shaolin master shaolin master is 68 so you could have some well we all do anyway but there's a connection with sagittarius here 68 slow and steady breathe and flow take a gentler approach you are being guided to flow like water blow like air and connect with your purest intentions don't feel you need to rush ahead a gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding move with subtlety and grace reach high but also ask yourself how you can move with the flow of life rather than pushing against it do you have the capacity to refocus your gaze at this time? Can you slow down or take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward? All of this will be incredibly beneficial for what happens next. So this is on page 69 as well. So I'm getting a lot of combination of Cancer energy, Virgo, which we just um, exited the season, and, and Libra. So Libra is challenging balance here balance in the body, balance in everything, right? And then you come in here with that yin yang. So it's a beautiful combination of, yeah, take advantage of this week. Let it, let it build you. You do have some villain, shadowy energies watching you, something that you're protecting yourself from. Very skilled. These situations are very skilled when it comes to that analytical aspect, like calculative. And you also are using that to build you up. This is shadow work. We use that. The shadows always tell you that there is a part of you that wants to come out. And it feels like this week is significant. Wow. All right, Cancer. I'm going to stop here for now. I wish you a blessed week and do take care. Bye-bye.